Hey guys, it's Crystal. Today I wanted to talk about something very important. Um, as you guys know, I am pregnant right now. I'm about 32 weeks pregnant to be exact today. And um, something that I want to talk about is postpartum uh, essentials that you're going to need after you have your baby. I feel it's very important um, to have these things. Um, with my first pregnancy, I wasn't too much into the postpartum stuff and I ended up getting things at the last minute and this time I'm preparing myself a little bit earlier this time so I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I feel are essential during postpartum. So the first thing I got is um, maxi pads like the extra absorbency ones and I'm actually going to make um, they call them paps patsicles um, and I might do a video on how to actually make it when you do give birth they give you something similar to patsicle in the hospital it's basically just like a cooling pad that you wear um, and it feels really great down there after you give birth so I'm going to make my own personal ones for when I get home so yeah, that's why I bought the maxi pads, and um, I know they also give you like really, really large pads um, from the hospital, so I'll probably use some of those as well. Um, to make the um, patsicles, I bought the aloe vera, it's just up and up brown from Target, um, witch hazel, and that's it. I know some people put the lavender oil in them but I'm not going to do that. So those are the items for the patsicle that I'm going to use. Just the relief of the coolness really makes a big difference. Another thing I bought is um, something similar to Dermoblast. It's like um, a, a relief spray antibiotic that you can just spray down there um, for extra pain relief. I didn't use it last time so we'll see how it works out, um, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, having it. Another thing that I'm going to be doing after I have baby is the Epsom salt baths, or sizz they call it sizz sizzle baths, sizzler's bath, maybe I'm saying it wrong, but anyways, you just put the Epsom salt in your bath and just soak, sit in the bathtub for a while and soak in. It's supposed to help with the healing. And after I'm done, you know, with the heavy um, bleeding and stuff like that, um, I'm going to be using just a normal tux. I only bought the 40 kind, 40 count, because last time my husband bought 100 count and I didn't even use the whole thing. So this time I just went with 40. Another thing that you just, you can line in your underwear or a pad and it just, it's a nice cooling sensation um, and it's a lot smaller than the patsicles so definitely will be using this after I feel like I'm not as um, heavy bleeding and stuff like that and then I also bought wipes um, the wet wipes for when we're past that stage <laughs> again because you do have to use a, I believe it's called a peri bottle which again, the hospital will provide for you right after you give birth. So you have to use that instead of actually wiping. So after I'm past the heavy bleeding and in the stage where I, I can or can't wipe, then I'll start using the cloth wipes. Another uh, thing that I believe I used for postpartum was the... Um, stool softeners because after you give birth it is really scary to go to the restroom <laughs> so definitely buy some stool softeners I don't have the bottle with me um, I believe I used the Target brand up and up stool softeners and they were perfectly fine other things that you're going to need are also like some granny panties so go buy a pack of granny panties that way you don't get your nice underwear um, stained um, and and or use the mesh underwear that the hospital will provide for you as well. 
So yeah, those are a couple of the essential items that I am going to use this time around for postpartum. Um, if you guys have any questions or would like to see the video on how I'm going to do the padsicle, um, leave a comment below or thumbs up or like the video. I know it's something like really weird to talk about, but I feel like it, like I said, is really important to talk about because it's a topic that women don't really talk about during pregnancy or for me, nobody told me about. So um, I hope this helps anybody who is pregnant and who's going to go through the postpartum and stuff. So um, I guess that's it for today and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.